Street Fighter, you don't just win over and over and over. You make like three good reads and then you've destroyed them with all of your SPDs. Yeah, and we'll get we'll get back to some of that later, but right now we've got Dakpo and Wispy, possibly one of the best sets we're gonna see all night. Oh my goodness. I think last time Wispy came out, he got third <gasps> around here? And is Wispy going Falcon? I hope so. Ooh, I really hope so. He's been playing Falcon so far today. I mean you guys have been watching and you've seen that. Um I hope he's playing Falcon, because boy do I love to commentate some Falcon, because he's one of the characters I know anything about. I mean, Captain Falcon against Luigi, I feel like uh, it's a little bit skewed. I, um, think, I think Luigi has a has a decent number of advantages in this matchup. What Fal Falcon's going to be all about, uh, again, it's going to be all about the punish game and seeing, like, for example, Luigi loves to air dodge because of how floaty he is. And one of the biggest things that Falcon is going to have to do, as he does against any character, but especially so with Luigi, is look out for where he's about to air dodge and then land a strong move, like, I don't know, perhaps a knee. Okay, that's fair. Um, uh, Luigi's really just going to look to make Falcon approach him and then try to time his dodges and shields enough so that he can start those big Luigi combos. Right. Luigi does get exceptional combos on Captain Falcon. His weight is, like, perfect for all of Luigi's stuff. Uh, um, for most combos, that was a great recovery. Writing that down in my book. <laughs> oh! Okay. Yeah, but you'll see Captain Falcon is okay. able to take advantage of some things that other characters wouldn't be able to. Not a lot of characters can go that deep to take care of Luigi's re Oh, that's going to be it. But there, but there it was on the, on the yeah. Falcon side. I mean, that's going to be the biggest way that Luigi's going to kill Falcon because Falcon's recovery is terrible. But on the other side, while Dakpo was recovering, he air dodged and Wispy said, all right, uh, boot to the head. Really, both of these characters have decent combos on each other. Both of these characters can edge guard each other decently well. Neither of them Captain have Falcon especially so can edge guard Luigi very well. Luigi I encourage everybody to super careful. Yeah, Luigi needs to be very, very careful. And uh, really, his side B is out of the equation unless he goes very low. Ooh, but there is the one, one laggy move. And Luigi comes in with a shore you can... Yeah, any any move with a semblance of lag, which is most of Falcon's uh, kill Stronger, move repertoire, yeah. uh, will result in a shore you can. It's very difficult to get around something like that. I think one of the things that really set these two apart last game happened to be that, I mean... As Captain Falcon, you get some decent combos, right? But Luigi has that Nair as a combo break. So Luigi was able to get all of his combos off on Captain Falcon, but Captain Falcon couldn't do the same in return because he just kept getting interrupted. He wasn't able to get as much of a punish. And because of that, percent skewed, he had to go for something risky like that forward smash, calling him out, ended up losing his stock. And it's not a bad option if you can catch Luigi shielding or air dodging as he was probably hoping to. Uh, if you land a forward smash on Luigi's shield, he can't punish you no matter how big that lag is because of how much slide Luigi has off the shield. A little bit like that, actually, uh, because Falcon also slides out of his shield as well. Okay. So, Town of the City now. Uh, interesting that Wispy would go here against Luigi. Um, I mean, it gives him a little bit of room to run around. Captain Falcon does actually have the advantage that a lot of characters might not against Luigi, that he has the speed to come in and punish some of the fireballs that a lot of other characters might not be able to. So we can sit at a range where Dakpo is content to throw them, just kind of bait that out, and then come in for a punish. But he's also got to make sure that Dakpo is not uh, situating himself so that when he's throwing these fireballs, he's not trying to make Wispy uh, approach unsafely. Right. Ooh, going for that uh, falling up air into uh, knee at this percent, uh, not at th th with this amount of rage. I mean, at the edge of the stage, potentially. but uh, uh, It wouldn't have connected, is what I'm saying. Oh, 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 oh I see. Uh, knee, knee would kill Luigi at about 60 from that side right. of the stage. I wasn't factoring in the rage. Ooh, Ooh great right back there, but he's back dead. There. He, that, I will take that that's trade a, that's a every trade. day of the week. You're at 143. Luigi is at around 80 after the hit, I believe. Uh yeah, I'll take that, especially when all the neutral liner interactions have been kind of swayed in Dakpo's favor. Yeah, and it's one stock to one now, and Wispy did a great job of uh, interrupting Dakpo's combo by just getting there and grabbing him again, knowing that Dakpo would go for the re-grab. So he was able to get a little combo of his own, and it's right back to even. Oh, but that's yeah. going to be it. Yeah. 2-0 Dakpo. Just Wispy, out, yeah. Wispy might not have won, but he had some moments. There were definitely... A good, good, good couple of moments in that match. They were both playing their hearts out. 
And really, you just got to see, like, both players got destroyed on their recoveries. Both players got comboed to Wazoo. I mean, it's it's kind of a back and forth match. Those two characters are all about damage. Except in this matchup in particular, because they're all about damage, that usually means that their recoveries are